Hey guys, Fear Strike here, back with another video. This time it's a magnetization video as seen in the title. And today I'm showing you my newly acquired Jakari Razor Wing Jet Fighter. And there is a couple videos already um, up on YouTube which have show you the magnetization. Uh, but I, you know, I want to do my own take and my own video for it. So uh, I'm going to link those in the description below. The two original ones that I kind of looked at and inspired me to do it. To magnetize my jet fighter. Uh, but without further ado, uh, just one more thing. This is going to be my next paint project um, for maybe probably the rest of November or maybe just early December. I'm still enjoying kind of a break from painting so we'll see how it goes. Anyways I want to start first with uh, this guy the bottom. I just want to show you guys a look at the bottom and I'm just gonna zoom in. So you can see all the missiles on the bottom are magnetized. I'm just going to take each of them. So you can see I, I did mag put magnets on each of the kind of spots where the missile hinges are supposed to go. So I'll show you that first and then I'll show you all the missiles. The neurotoxin and everything. I have the neurotoxin missiles in here. Let's show you that. So you can see I put it where the insert supposed to be. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more for that. So that's the neurotoxin missile. So there's two mini things and I did it for the what is it? The Shatterfield missile. Oh, this is not the Shatterfield. This is a monocyte missile. So you can see I put that those two where the place where they're supposed to hook up to the the undercarriage and then this is the shatter field missile so I got two of each so I can um, I'm going to show you the bottom of this again and then I'll I'll put some back on so they're all I met it, it was a little bit of work but I can put all of them on whichever one I want Originally, I wanted to put some missiles on the side here because it it would kind of look different. But now that I got the magnetized, I can just switch switch and match. And then the ones I'm using on a unit, I can just put put the certain missile in front of the unit. So there you go. That's the first magnetization of the model. The next one I'm going to show you. I kind of messed up here. Is the the front gun. Oops. So these will are so easy to come off, but luckily they can uh, uh, glue, uh, magnetize back on. So what happened was originally, maybe I'll show you the the magnet inside there first. See, there's a little magnet where that hole is, but originally I wanted to stick the whole gun inside but uh, I glued it on this side right here and then I had to put more um, things on uh, magnets on so so I had to put the magnets kind of like that I don't know if you can see that correctly I'm holding the thing so awkwardly so there's the other piece so you have the splinter cannon which is this piece right here I cut off, there's a little piece on the end that I cut off and put a magnet there. And then this is the other option, which is the dual splinter rifles, I believe. So those will glue on the bottom. So it looks pretty good from the top, but from the bottom, it's not really what it's supposed to be look like, looking like. It's supposed to be that... You, you part right here is supposed to be inside, but that's all I could work with. I didn't want to uh, ruin the model and try to pry open the, the glue that job that I did. So on the bottom you can see the magnets again. 
Um, the last magnet citation I did is the Dark Lances and the Disintegrated Cannon. I'll show you that. So they also had kind of like, uh, let's see, an, uh, like a piece on the end. So I chopped that off and put the uh, magnets on there. And then this is, oh, those are the Dark Lances. This is the Disintegrator Cannons. Kind of like my Hell Drake. If you haven't seen my Helldrake video, that's an easy magnetization. So I'm just going to show you how I put a magnet in in those areas over there, the side areas, and I couldn't glue it down, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, this side piece here, another missile fired away. So I'm just going to show you one more how that looks. Kind of just fits right on, and. Where's the other one? Right over here. So all the missiles are on the ground, fired. So yeah, that's pretty much all the magnetization I did for this bad boy. And I look forward to painting this guy up for you guys in my next project. Project, project Jukari Razor Ring. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys um, kind of uh, can get inspiration to magnetize your own. Um, jet fighters or whatever and yeah it just makes it easier if you want to change up what the weapons are on your model anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace